everybody, this is Praxis, and as you can see behind me, I don't know if I've shot a video from this angle for a while, but the house is really starting to come together. You can definitely see the, where, the, where is going to be wall, where is going to be windows. Uh, yesterday and today, I've been just doing posts and wall boards, which is a, kind of an encouraging part of the process because you can really see things kind of come together and the structure sort of takes shape and everything. So that's been fun, but the video today isn't about the carpentry part. What I want to talk about is what's in the back of my car over here over here. Uh, I was at a salvage kind of store the other day, uh, yesterday as a matter of fact, uh, to get a small sink for the downstairs bathroom. Uh, it's, it's kind of a small bathroom, so we wanted just a small sink. I found one there, uh, you know, last week or so, took a photo of it, checked with my plumber to make sure, you know, is this kind of thing, will this work for me? Seemed like kind of a stupid question, but there's also some stupid codes out there. So I just wanted to make sure no code issues, like, you know, this is an approved sink, I can use this sink. He said yes, so I went back, and when I was there, I saw this cool piece of granite countertop. And I, you know, I was interested in it, but, you know, it's not going to do you any good if you get something really cool like that, even at an awesome discount, if you can't use it in your house. But the reason I was able to get it yesterday is because of this. I always carry the house pan, uh, plans around with me whenever I go. I just keep them in the back of the car. So if I ever uh, come across some kind of a deal, something like this, I was able to just check the house plans and confirm that I was actually able to fit that piece with the dimensions that it was at in the house. If I hadn't had the house plans, I would have had to either do one of two things, buy it and then cross my fingers and hope it fits in, or maybe I could return it later, or you know, I'd have to go home, check the plans, and then go back later. But having the plans in the car allowed me to just quickly confirm that it was something I could use and I was able to you know throw it in the back of the car and by throw it in I mean it was really awkward that's a it's really heavy I mean it's only like an inch and a half or so thick but it's it's surprisingly heavy in fact at the end of this video you can watch me try to like get it out of the car and bring it over there I'm gonna leave it over on a tree stump and kind of cover it up uh, until we're ready to put it on the inside but it was really awkward getting in there in fact I, I kind of injured my finger here, uh, when it was going in, it got pinched. I didn't, actually I had the gloves in the car. I should have been wearing the gloves, but I wasn't wearing the gloves. Because again, I didn't think it was gonna be that heavy, but it was really heavy. So I'm gonna try to move this over here, but good thing to keep in mind whenever you're doing a building project, keep the plans in the back of your car and it'll allow you to take advantage of different opportunities that might present themselves and confirm that you can actually use them. Here we go. I kind of put some things around it so it wouldn't bang around toolbox here. I'm just going to let the video kind of like just go out on me doing this because I'm not sure how long this video clip can be. It's hard because there's nothing to grab onto. Oh god. Oh, now I'm remembering. Okay. There we go. Oh god. And it's like ripping at the upholstery in the car. It's really heavy. I... What am I going to guess? I'm going to compare it to bags of cement. I'm saying that's like somewhere somewhere around 150 pounds, maybe a little bit more. Oh, oh my god. It's nice though. It's black granite in good condition. Okay. Oh my god. How did I How did I lift this? Oh yeah, I grabbed the edges. Okay. Oh my goodness. Uh, I gotta walk like a hundred feet with it. Thanks for watching.